If you could travel one light year per second, where would you go? Imagine you're piloting a spacecraft that can fly one light year every second. It sounds impossible, but let your imagination break free and begin a journey across the stars. First, let's recall, the speed of light in a vacuum, about 300,000 kilometers per second, is the greatest natural speed limit. Nothing with mass can surpass it, because as you approach that speed, your relativistic mass approaches infinity. So if you can travel one light year per second, you've entered a realm far beyond the boundaries of physics. One light year equals 9.46 trillion kilometers. At this speed, your voyage begins now. One second. You leave the solar system. Not just passing the heliopause where Voyager 1 once ventured, but racing to the farthest edge, the Oort cloud, where the sun's gravity loses its grip. 4.22 seconds. You reach the closest star system, Alpha Centauri, home to Proxima b, a potentially habitable planet, also the imagined cradle of the three-body civilization in a famous sci-fi novel. 8.6 seconds. You arrive at Sirius, the brightest star in our night sky. It has a unique companion, the first white dwarf ever observed by humanity. 20.5 seconds. You reach Gliese 581g, an exoplanet in the habitable zone, once believed to have a 100% chance of supporting life. 50 seconds. You enter the realm of BPM 37093, a massive diamond planet. Its mass equals tens four carats, far beyond all human dreams of precious matter. 6 minutes 42 seconds. You soar into the Pleiades, the brightest star cluster near Earth, with over 3,000 stars. To ancient eyes, these were the incarnations of the Seven Sisters. 10 minutes. You reach Kepler 22b, a super-Earth with 2.4 times Earth's radius, once considered one of the most Earth-like planets for human life. 14 minutes. You encounter Betelgeuse, a red supergiant in the Orion constellation. Though only 77 times the sun's size, it shines 120,000 times brighter. Caution, its light can blind you without protection. 5 hours, 30 minutes. You arrive at Stevenson 218, the largest star ever observed. Its mass to size ratio is so extreme, it's nicknamed the impossible giant. One day, you exit the Milky Way. Looking back, your galactic home, with over 400 billion stars and 13.7 billion years of history, is just one spiral in the darkness. But in 3.75 billion years, it will collide with Andromeda to form a new galaxy, 